In Mississippi, a white father and son have both been arrested, charged, and let out on bail after allegedly shooting at an African-American FedEx driver. Brandon Case is charged with attempting to cause bodily injury with a firearm, and his father, Gregory Case, is charged with conspiring with Brandon to commit aggravated assault. What's up, Integrity Gang? It's your boy checking in with another video. Now, before I get into it, I'd like you to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Ah, oh, man. Just when you think things making a turn for the better, you come across a story like this. I guess this story really gravitated towards me because it put me in the mind of the Amal Aubrey case. Well, we got a horrendous story out of Mississippi where a young FedEx driver was on the road delivering packages in uniform. That's when he was confronted by two white males and they demanded him to pull over. Fair and for his life, DeMontario kept driving. That's when they opened fire. After barely escaping with his life, he notified the town police. Can you believe they had the audacity to play devil advocate and try to paint him out as a criminal or a suspect? And to add injury to insult, get this, when he contacts his FedEx dispatcher, they also try to downplay the situation by putting Deep Monterio Gibson on the same route the next day. And when he refused for his own safety and mental health, they put him on unpaid leave. Get that unpaid leave. Just then, breaking news, since this clip of went viral, FedEx has announced that they will be paying him. So now he's paid, but hey, we still got a lot to look at. What took so long to lock these guys up? And will the feds step in and upgrade their charges to attempted murder? Because this is a federal hate crime if I ever seen one. And is this case family somehow related to the assistant chief in the police department? We need answers. MBI and the FBI are investigating. Gibson's attorney wants the case handled as a hate crime and is calling for action from the Department of Justice. Meanwhile, the 24-year-old Jackson resident says he is in therapy and has taken unpaid leave from his job. I just want to see justice at this point. 